everyone welcome to Tina Voda shop so today we're gonna draw some character painting let me show you some ideas so uh, I want to do Lola today and I also want to incorporate some uh, Takashi Murakami flowers on here okay uh, that may be very familiar with these um, flowers come from a very famous Japanese artist. So today we're going to do that uh, and pastel, of course. But let me, let me zoom back to the Lola. All right. Before we start it, oh, and I have very, something very important to tell you. But I'm going to wait until we connect to the other account. Let's put in my website. The product is at www.tnovo.shop and I will include Kyla information. Phone number is 417-772-4020. That is for customer service. All right. Okay, I'm going to connect this account right here. Just a second. Oh, wow, that shirt is shiny fun. Hi, everyone. All right. Okay. Ready. Got her? Yes. All right, everyone. All right. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Happy be now. Hello. Uh, Atakwa, 1986. Hi. Um, let me see. Young Kalina Pans. Uh, Sophia. Uh, hello everyone, can't wait to see the resort. You are the best. Thank you, uh, Frati Shelly. Hola, como esta Echo Queen Nels. All right, should we tell them? Go ahead, baby. Okay. I'm sad about it. Though. Um, so uh, you know that I have, um, I have two shows coming up and I have up live for two weeks to, um, to take care of my show and pack and crystal and all that. Mm, so, um, I was thinking that maybe it's best um, for me just to post the one minute videos uh, and like the time lapse video and then post it on my Instagram. Um, since uh, the live stream is very time consuming, it takes like two or three hours, I was thinking uh, stop doing live stream for now. So today will be the last live stream I, I would do. Um, as far as I, I can tell, this year. Um, so that is a decision that we made today. And I know that it's difficult for you guys. Um, so I want you guys to enjoy the live stream today. Um, because it is the last. Yes. Yes. Um, I know acrylic, babe. I know it's very sad, but we have to come into that. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, tell them it's April Fools. Let me keep it straight, mate. Tell, tell. April Fools. How dare you, tell April Fools. <laughs> I got you. Honey, you can't keep a straight face in the game. I'm trying yes. to keep a straight face. Anyways, <laughs> so happy April Fool today. <laughs> I just, I just want to uh, do something fun for April Fool. <laughs> and since the neighbors don't like us, <laughs> I can make good huh? job at keeping a straight face. You did, you did. You're a good girl. Anyways, uh, yes, we still want to do a live stream. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's April Fool. You have to, you have to get involved in the festivity of the holiday. Festivity. Right? <laughs> That's the only one we celebrate. Uh. All right, let's flip the camera down. Okay, let's see. This is should be an actor. <laughs> uh, I already like talk, uh, like have a quick sketch on Lola. Don't look at the leg, it's ugly. Um, I already uh jot down Lola, so I don't have to use the phone today. Uh, I already have all the color um planned out. Uh, so. Dustin can have the phone today. Good question. Yes, we can do question. On our last day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
For those who joined early, let's take 20 seconds <laughs> to calm down. I can't. <laughs> oh, you make people cry, honey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see some nails then. <clears throat> Do you see another nail stand somewhere? It's white. Just another one of these? Yep, right here. Hi. 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 Okay. Hola, hola, uh, Alex Nail Secrets. Yes, Habibi, today's April Fool's. Okay. Hi, acrylic babe. Is that polish on top of the uh of the stand? No, it's uh it's this little uh like press on top, press on adhesive top. I put it on. Cause it's beautiful press on, so it should hold the nail very well for you. Okay, start. Let's start it out with like a uh. Should I do a nude? Start it out with a cream nude. Cream nude. Mm -hmm. I know that it's sold out right now, but I couldn't help it. It's almost arrived. Um, the nail stands. I'm pretty sure we have it. We have a gold one. Mm, Cindy probably have it on her website. The white one. But our gold one is in uh in the essential category. Hello, Trinidad. Later on, I buy the white one because sometimes, um, or the black one too, because sometimes the gold one, uh, sometimes the blue dot is too strong, so it takes out the coating. Makes sense. Oh, hola, Brazil, Vivians. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right here and all the way down. Good morning, Jen. Hello, Jen. Okay, zoom in. Okay. Oh, Jen was uh, Jen was late for the for the uh, April Fool jokes. Give everybody, you know, give everybody a heart attack. Yes. This morning, Jen. Okay. Cheers, this too. Great now's got a new super payment yet. They do you like it? Awesome, awesome. All right, so this in. Okay, you know what? Let's do this too. Good afternoon, Ladells. Hello, Black Forest. Oh, I was just uh, I was just pranking people this morning about uh, this is the last life ever. Cause you know it's April Fool, so I want to do something for the holiday. I think this is perfect. Hello, Danielle. Hello, hello, Good morning, Danielle. Friends. Bonjour. Bonjour, friends. Ça va? Hear this. Cheryl Baller Mom says you inspired her to work with the pigment colors. Thank you. Okay, so now I have all four nails. I already have a nude base on it. Get this. Let's go ahead and add another one. If you do a natural nail, you don't have to add another coat. I'm be on clear nails. Here, yeah. ring fingers. Good morning, Ambrose. Hello, Abirio. 
Of course, let's start with this one. So, gracias. It's la top of the cream nude at Tino Production. Pero uh, ahora no puedes comprar el top gel cream nudes, pero um, no tengo más. No tengo más um, en um, uh, uno o dos semanas y uh, tengo más uh, new gel cream nudes. Allí. Mira. Nope. Everybody said, let me tell you, say I tried the embossed wire set last night. Yes. It does not. Come outright if you don't have the correct product. Yes. And then a question: How do you know if you want acrylic nude or nude gel? It's just a matter of choice. They're both the same. The choice is yours. Mm -hmm. You can do acrylic, or if you do a fill, then you can just put the gel on. Or if you're acrylic, if you don't have the color acrylic you like. Then you can just do like a natch or whatever, and then you can just put one thin coat on. So it's a matter of choice. All right, let's take out these metal fingers, these string fingers. Let's go ahead and sketch Lola really quick. Yes. Uh, say less gels, no brown or black. Okay, Lola color is beige, red, yellow, green. Okay. Palette out. Okay, Lana brush out. 10 millimeters is what I'm using. All right. Let's see. All right. So, two V, one, two. Now, the whole head, if you want the top of the head to be right here, uh, let's go down to about right here. Let's say that. Now, knowing that the hair from the hairline, that's half. And then from the hairline down, that's half. So, half and half started from the hairline. So, let's say her hairline right here. Then I go down just a little bit. I draw the nose. Curve out from both sides. Just like this. And then you curve a little down this way. See it? So now you curve upward like this. See that? Curve upward. And then eyes, just erase this. From here, down just a little bit, curve down here, curve uh, to about right here. Okay. And then also, this is an eyelash. So it's split it, but not in the middle, just a little bit. I think we all get nervous when you sketch it out with your paintbrush. We don't even feel like that's sketching it out. We oh, feel like that's doing it. Oh, you can use pencil then. You can use pencil. See that? The eyes. The other eyes. Same thing. Same height. And then slit a little bit for the eyelid. Not much. About one third. Then make one curve the eyes about two thirds. Now, inside, make a little round circles and curl it, except for leaving one little naked space right here for the uh, glimmer of the eyes. Hmm. Okay, and then down here, that's just detail. Let's draw in the detail too. A double U. The distance of the double U is just the same as the nose. About the same. And line, two line, make it into a W. 
and slit out slit this out draw your T one line down two line down one line across for the T and hairline start from about right here which is right down this left eyes one curve two curve start from here are you using a 10 millimeter brush yes 10 millimeter brush cut through the eyes right here again curve okay start from the top about right here go across and then down same things uh let's go ahead and draw in the left side of the face so you don't get confused meet the hairline right here see that now start from here curve all the way down not all the way out about right here and stop now you draw on the headband very easy, just parallel, yeah. See that? Now the ear. One curve down to about right here. And then out just a little bit. Same thing over here, start right here. Going up just a little bit so this distance can be bigger than this distance. Flat up a little bit and then get it together just like this outline this from both sides one on top and one in the bottom okay then on here also draw in got it have two ears so this is this other ear hidden behind <laughs> the hair Okay, now the cheek. Start, start from here, curving down, stop. Start from here, curving down, stop. Start from here. So the next should end about right here. Actually, I'm going to erase this. Curving down. From here. I don't want it to be too chuffy. Curve in and then down a little bit. Good. Same thing here. This curving down. Add a face for this side of the face. Curve down, stop right here. Curve down, stop right here. Curve in and down. Okay. Now this connect to as fur. All right now time to draw the neckline curve to the left i mean to the right curve to the right and then going down this curve down make a neckline draw on the bus going out and going in just like that same thing here start from here going down curve up like a yield then right here connect to this side okay and draw in the stomach down below now this I'm gonna draw the shoulders and this low shoulder too and we are done here well that was quick as hell thank you so bad bad wait a minute Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what you meant by it. You said I cleaned my brush after using it. Should I just get a new one? I mean, if it's still got bristles and everything, then like anxious nail tech said, you can put gel on it and let it be refurbished. She said she cleaned her brush after using it. She, she get a new one? Yeah. No, no, no. If, if you accidentally clean your brush after using it, then that's fine. You just Go ahead and put some top coat on it right now.
No, so, it's not going to last very long if you don't keep it conditioned. Yeah, if you repeat doing it, but you, if you just do it once, that's okay. Go ahead and put some top coat on right now, like right now. Don't wait. <laughs> put on some top coat on and then wiping it in. Just like that. You don't have to buy a new one. You should do it once, right? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Just remember to condition it right away. All right, so let's pick the colors. Hello, Kara. Okay, let's see. Beige. This should be beige already. Mm, let's see. Good morning, Lens. Let's choose 10 nude. This is a different nude. Going in for this. Okay, still 10 millimeters. But this gel is nude, is a liquidy gel, so it's easy. See that? It moves easy. Oops. Yeah. Did you tell them that we went out and painted last night? No, I did not. An expression painted the town. We did that. We did paint the town last night. Uh oh. What? Could somebody tell me? Because I don't know Lola law and I don't have a picture right now. Uh, cause the mouth is white. Is the jet is white too? Lola. Lola. Cartoon character. Uh, her cheek is white. Let's see. Images. Oh, the whole thing is white. Some is tan, but some is whitish. Okay, I got it from here. So it's not white, white. Okay. Lola? Yeah. I never heard of Lola neither. So see, it's a way different nude. Need to contrast this, and I, when I'm done, I'll add some shadow into the nude too. So nude right here. This is my first time painting Lola, by the way. Never do Lola before. Nude, nude. And nude right here. All right, up just a little bit. Oh, here. Now, time for white, pure white. Uh, I am using uh, a gel polish. You don't have to use uh, a gel paint, just polish for this. So yeah, that's what we did. We went and uh, painted. Yes. Oh, gracias, Ni, uh, Ms. Rose. Gracias. Watercolors. Yes, it was a funness night. Yeah, Isn't it nice? All I have to do is try to keep it in lines. I realize I now really suck. I tried to keep it incognito. I don't want her to know that I'm a professional drawer. So <laughs> I was really just <coughs> have fun and being carefree and just slather color, watercolor all over the painting. She's like, oh, that is so cute. I said, oh, really? Oh, thank you. I said, oh, <laughs> oh, my God, I love my unicorn. Oh, she had no idea. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That is a lot at some point I have to stop. I have to stop because at some point, you know, because yeah, first I slap on the color, there's come the shading. So when I get to the shading, I'm like, mm, I better stop right here. Yeah, you start off right She say, oh, you're going to add some color into it? I'm like, oh, I might do some shadow. Is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hear this. 
Mm. Now, that was great when she was telling me how to mix the paint. I know. I'm like, is it, and you know, I'm just gonna get Amy Curtis. <laughs> She's like, you know what? It's always gonna know. You cannot go wrong. I'm like, oh, I hope so. <laughs> it's always always not going wrong. Okay, so I mix a little nude with the white, so it's not too white. And I am uh, go ahead and just paint over all the detail here, because it takes more work to try to dodge the detail. I'm just jocking the nose and the mouth down so I, I can keep the proportion right. That's all. However, right now, if I try to do the nude and try to save the details, it it'll be more work for me. Well, I think it's a little one. Yeah. She looks a little sassy. She is. She looked like uh, almost sassy as Jessica Rabbit. I feel like Jessica Rabbit is more sultry, sexy as opposed to sassy. Oh, you know I, mean? I never watch Jessica Rabbit either. I'm afraid out. I'm it out. Good. Blend it just a little. We had almost tornadoes. Almost. Pretty windy. Kia. Pink. Fairy tale pink. Um, hooked up by Sunshine. The website you can purchase brushes from are is is pinned below at keto bow dot shop what a, what, oh wrong wrong company okay gonna mix with a little white polish so it can be lightest they said that she's a ratchet jessica rabbit <laughs> oh she is oh lola yeah oh okay <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done with this. Okay, pastel pink all over us. Just slap everything in the middle first so I can just go out with it. So I go crazy in the middle, make sure it's having enough gels. Then with a brush, I now fine tune the outside. Um, you can't buy the nails that he's doing, but a lot of the people that have been following and been here since the beginning absolutely can recreate in a way that you will be happy and satisfied with. Yes. Pink here, pink here too, just a little bit. And pink, um, pink, 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 pink. pink. Thing here too. And let's uh this is gonna be blue. Okay, kill this. Yellow. Fairy gel yellow. Matter of fact, that next chapter now, she has done several characters or her Tweety Bird was immaculate. Uh-huh. I know that she definitely could handle the task. Plus, if, if you can keep her busy, she'll quit texting me and I won't have to do all these secretary jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Mix with a little white so it's okay for yellow. <laughs> yellow for her hair. Yellow hair. Blonde hair. I'm just going to go go crazy in the middle first because that's easier just keep in jail and go crazy in the middles that's mindless work mindless yeah okay now when you're done 
make your brush a little thinner and go in and take care of your details like this don't have to pick up any more gels because there are already plenty of gel on the surface you just have to use a nice point to start going out to the edge like this see that very nice pointy edge pointy tips and just going over just like this it'd be nice if you can cross the eye like this that'd be nice the hair cover a little bit of the eyes so that mention on secure this yes now blue fairy gels and just a little blue right here too so i can mix it with a little green but i want to make a tealish colors And then white here. Look at this girl. Good morning, Cat Claws. Hello, Cat Claw. And go ahead and add in. Go crazy in the middle first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is two days she's popped in here and said, I'm incognito today. Oh. But when she says that, I picture her standing behind a palm tree with a gunny sack, getting ready to pounce on someone and drag them in. I don't know why. <laughs> incognito. Incognito. Um, I'd love to be incognito. <laughs> like last night. here now kia this kia this wait for the kia wait for the kia you know the cat right now i did i did i actually trained the cat to later quietly <laughs> did, you, did you realize that's what i was doing proud me and the cat got a good deal Okay. She's in a coconut tree. <laughs> so she is out there. Uh, for this, I rather have a feel of brush to blend. It's much smaller. Just have it just a few times to blend it a little bit. This one I'm using feel a brush. some near the hairline the the uh, picture that I'm using doesn't have shadow I'm just making it up mm, rub it right here too actually I'm gonna use a liner brush just to drag it out okay a little bit for the ear good afternoon missy flame hello missy flame been my biggest inspiration in opening up my own shop in St. Louis. Woo! That's awesome. Congratulations. That's awesome. St. Louis, Missouri, only three hours away from us. Mm -hmm. Here this, and I need purples.
actually I'm gonna use some art gel because it's so tiny now. Okay. Some uh, stained glass gel blue number eight. You know, I, I just realized, I mean, my, my picture would have turned out a lot better yesterday if I would have had the proper products. I know, right? I know I stirred you up, kid. Get this. And yellow for the hair. Let's use number nine, which is sunflower yellow. Sunflower. I just love we made that name up. Yellow oxide. <laughs> yellow oxide is how you call it. Sorry. Blend it just a little bit. Right here, some yellow. Right here, some yellow. Good. And uh, let's save. I know that this is red, but I'm going to add pink, hot pink, right here for the hair tie. Kind of try to avoid red right now. I don't feel red fit in this month. Cute this. Yes. Aww. I hate to hear that. 12 and 9 nails. Okay. I've kept pretty and first got hit. Oh, no. That's awful. Well, of course it is. Cute and matte. Oh, man. We absolutely love animal more people. Man, that's awful. But fortunate for you, we could send you. We never. Not that one, but another one. <laughs> <laughs> we never had uh, a cat get hit before. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully, that would never happen to us. Mm -hmm. Awful. Okay. Now, I am going to uh, add the coat of matte in this because I'm ready to details. I'm ready to uh, use some uh, art gel, do some line works, and uh, fill in the eyelid and everything. So here this. This is a thin layer, not much. Going down. You can wiggle if you want. It'll be easier to submerge top coat into all the little grooves right here. Just a thin layer. Make sure you clean it up from both sides so it don't have like a big left handle from both sides. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, goodness. We are exactly polar opposite of great nails. She has five dogs, two cats. We have five cats, two dogs. Five cats, two dogs, yes. Um, <laughs> So, Cash Baby, we live in Springfield, Missouri. And Next Chapter Nails has a really good question. Yes, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I was once told to outline cartoon characters with a white border. What mm -hmm. is your views on that, doll? Acceptable. Yes. Acceptable? Yes. Acceptable. Uh, anything that you can see, because that is just a sketch. Um, definitely something weak. Today I decided to use brown rather than black. Uh, usually when I use black, I will 
sometimes I use um, like an opaque black, but sometimes I use like a stained stained glass black to depend. But yes, white is very well acceptable. Uh, I am gonna mix some white into this to make it just a tiny bit lighter. Some white right here. There you go. It's just a little lighter. Not all the way, but just a little bit light. Going in for the eyelid. Yes. Yeah, two for the eyelid. And Kia. We're really whipping this together pretty quick. Yeah? Yeah. Hot gels. Black. Now, I am going to use a pretty heavy black to outline it. You don't have to. But what I'm doing is the pinky and index, I will uh, use the uh, pop art cartoon character, which have heavy black outline. So I want my character to match it. So I am going to outline everything with black. Nice tips by Cam. He said hello, watching while on the road with the hubby. Oh. From the trip. Oh, that's fun. Isn't it? I just love that you guys watching me while you guys are on vacation. I love it. It's delegation. Well, it is. But it makes me feel obligated that we should give a life lesson also here and there. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what that'd be, but you know. Why would that be? Somehow spiritual or, or. Small, thin. You know what? Let's start with the 10 millimeters. It gives me anxiety. Anxiety? Why is my seven millimeters? <laughs> so my liner brushes <clears throat> never seem pointy enough. Mm. Any tips? Yes. Like right now, see it? Now, when you go. Go in, first you submerge your brush, you soak up your brush right here, right? But look at it, it's not like pointy right now, no. So what you do is doing this, Let's zoom in, pull it out just a little bit. So basically, you still want to keep the amount of gel on your brush, you need it. But the point, the, the tip, you want to pull it out just a little on the tip. So now it's nine sharp, see that? And this are pretty loaded with gel. So um, if you want it to be sharper, a few more. See that? Super sharp now. See that? So the pulling is, but most people mistake for the pulling as a loading. So with a dry brush, they go in, they pull immediately. And what happened is the gel only coated from the outside. It doesn't coat inside of the brush. So this pulling is not loading. First you have to load it like this. You have to load your brush. So it's merged with gels, and then you pull. See that? So now you pull in just to make the tip a little nicer, so you can execute this. Nice, much better than a ten millimeter on small detail like this. <laughs> and as you can see. When I pick up paint, because I already load my brush, it already have gel. So when I pick it up, I just need to touch it just a little bit, just to restore the line. That's all. Restore. Mm -hmm. But you have to load it to make sure it's nice and smooth for you. Because what you hate the most is when you in the process of drawing and drawing a line, and suddenly you just out of gel. Then you have to go in and load more gel. It just ruins everything. So make sure that your brush are packed with gel, ready to go, that you don't lose in gel in the middle of the process. So every, every time La Lashley, or should I say every time we're on here, Lashley always says something at least once that makes me know how much her and I are so much alike. Yeah. Yeah. 
So let me give you a small amount of advice, Lashley. This is what I like to do. I love to pack at the very last moment because if you packed a week ago and you got there and you forgot something, you're going to be mad and horrible. But if you pack at the last moment, you're expecting to leave without everything. So it really makes you feel better if you're procrastinating. What size brush are you using for the small details? Seven, seven millimeters. See, it's therapy right here. Therapy. Line is therapy. It's, it's teach people how to be patient. It teach people how to focus. Line is therapy. Because uh, that's the reason why when I do line, I talk less because of the focus. If I talk a lot, then my focus will be uh, dissolved. I don't know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Line will teach people focus. They teach people how to control, not with their hand, of course, with their mind, so they can be still when they're drawing. That's why it's therapy. Right now it's when I need to 10 millimeters. But this line is a little long. See, I have to stop a lot with the seven millimeters. Cause it's such a long line. Just another thing so you guys can notice. It's the different structure in a different brush in the wrong, um, like this line, the 10 millimeter will make it much smoother for me. Mm. Now, this smaller mouse right here, that is when you really need the seven millimeters. Okay, so right now, I am being limited. Because up here it's wet, and I really want to do this. I really want to use my anchor finger and touch this, but it's wet. So I have to like hold it right here, and it's messed with my pattern. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear it. So it can freeze. Then I can touch where, where I want to touch. Because my ankle, my ankle fingers is very important. So now, now I can use my anchor finger right here. See, I'm safe now. So... Let's be right here. Okay. And T for it, which probably will be wiser to your white first. Get this. Flip the white. Oh, white art gel or polish art gel because I want it to be nice and sharp and square. A little bit art gel coming out. And going down for the T, one line down, line across, and near the mouth. Done and done. Done and done. Here. Muy bonito, gracias, Torres. Just a, uh, just a flash here. Um, let's shove in some white for these eyes too. And wipe the brush. See, I don't even clean it with solving. But white is weaker than black. I just need to wipe it off the paper towel. <laughs> then I can use my black gels nicely. Tonight, now, continue to outline. It's a little bit out of line right here. Her eyes look very seductive. Mm -hmm. Lola. Just 
Just outline everything, and then I'm worried about the detail down here. So, yeah. Now here, yeah. let's flash here just a little bit, just to make sure. Okay, now I can worry not uh, worry about not messing it up. Outline everything. Say so what? No cleavage? No, no cleavage. I mean, there is cleavage. Oh, it needs to be deeper. No. It should, though. I'm <laughs> such a good boy this month. I'm like an angel this month. Wait a minute. Well, kind of, I haven't wear shit in a decade. No, well, kind of, today's the first. So right. Are you trying to be good this month or are you talking about the last month? Hmm. Let's, let's, let's have had present tense been good last month. And this month, we should, we, we should be going to it slowly. We're going to Chicago, too. We can't, we can't just be good all month. Oh, yeah. She's still going to be have big lashes. I save it for last. It says the big lashes for last. Yes, it's uh, right. and, and just a little brown stained glass down here. This might be too dark. No, it's too dark. A little nude. Uh, lastly, to answer your question, we're not gonna look into that too much ourselves because really that that is uh, Dreamtime's job, and she's been in the business over thirty plus years. She has all that stuff figured that figured out. So if she says, you know, we 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 trust her. So she has our best interest at heart, and, and when I say ours, I mean us and everyone else. Um, if, if, and when there's a way she'll figure it out, yeah. but, good but until then we shouldn't even be talking about her business, you know, she good, uh, business. Well, she is good. integrity. She do everything right. Mm -hmm. That's why we step in with her. We have many offers, but man, many we trust offers. her, we trust her, but the one that won our love, Hear this. Now, I'm done with that. Move on to the flowers. Flower, I would love to start out with yellow. Big yellow. Ooh, super. I just got the super pig at five. I'm so excited. Remember, very potent. Yes. Before you open it, make sure you prep it with a paper towel so all the dust you shake up, clean the um, lid and everything, and then you're good. Okay, now um, I will go pink and white. Okay, so let's do a couple of yellow right here, right here. Not perfect circles. Okay. Yeah. Can we turn it into an egg? <laughs> <laughs> no egg for Lola. No eggs for Lola? No egg for Lola. Pink petals. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, so from here, you curve and then go down. Curve and then go down. Okay. 
Now we want to make sure that this top is bigger than the bottom right here. Mm. Ooh, mm -hmm. um, because if you imagine a circle outside of this circle, um, what happened is the outside circle is bigger than the inside circle. So this outside should be bigger than this. Color it in. Color it in. Make sure you keep an eye out. Make sure everything is nice and even. Make sure it's match all the others. Colombia, me encantado que hacen. Oh, gracias, Katis. Uh, they want to, um, cuánto tiempo de ver de dejar en la lampara para la celda en, uh, se, um, uh, sesenta, no, uh, sesenta, ya, sesenta, uh, sesenta uh, segundos, uh, si es, y es zero, si es zero, sesenta. No sé, that's 70 or 60 seconds. Sesente. Sesente. Mm -hmm. Is that one of those languages real close to ours? Um, uno, cuatro, uno, dos, tres, un, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Si es, si es sento. Si es siete. Ya, es, si, si es. Si es y zero segundos. Ok. One, two, three. <coughs> is it yes, it is si es. Si es uh, yes. Let me see. Sesenta. Sí, eso es gracias. Sí, 60 segundos. So, curarlo, curarlo uh, en la lámpara para 60 segundos. I like the word segundos. Sí. <laughs> Today is Saturday, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is Saturday. And then tomorrow, guess what? What, 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 what? Tomorrow is Sunday. You know, Saturday. I know. It should be it's Sunday. now oh and the brush that i'm using to clean is the oval brush by the way it can be uh, a white variety of brush of your choice uh oval or uh filler also a very good cleaner and uh ankle is very good cleaner for this in the surface circle i prefer using oval since the top of oval is round it's easier for me to clean this da, da, da. And probably will be the best idea to also clean the yellow circle. So, 
Good day, loving 313. Hello, loving 313. She is at Hash Bash. What is it? I'm not sure. But it sounds good. Into it. Either way, it's good. It sounds like fried catfish. Cure this. Or weed. Oh. Or actually, what was that we were doing down in Dallas? Um. No, we shouldn't tell. We shouldn't discuss that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mathis. Let me see. Do I need a little shadows? Uh, I didn't do a good job on these shadows. You know, now I kind of wish we hadn't went out last night. Because watching you do this it makes me feel like I can do it. Uh -huh. But then I just remember last night and I'm like, you can't do it. All right. You have to love it. To make it so easy to look like you, you have to practice. You have to dedicate your time into it. What do you think I've been doing all these years? I'm just not ready to commit with a brush. Hmm. What will happen if I go for this, like this? They said basically a pop fest that started in the 70s. That sounds good. That sounds like good. That sound good. But I also say that the hash, hash brown sound pretty good too, so must be hungry. Sound good. Yeah. White, time for add white and just a white polish. Don't don't have this pedal taller than the other pedals. Just a one in, but you might do that. Hmm. Make sure it's equal to the others. Don't try your best to make it perfect, because you have to outline it in black. Oh, uh, and that's when you make it crisp? Yeah. So don't waste your time making this perfect. So do a good job at the beginning, or at the end, not the beginning. No. <laughs> it just, it will be a waste of time if it doesn't make it perfect. I mean, but don't don't go too crazy on it neither. Just make sure you don't close to perfect. Close to perfect. Hold down the fort, honey. I'll be right back. Okay. Fill it all in with white. Make sure everything is filled. This one too. Make sure it's all nice and filled. And let's go ahead and do the bottom too. Oh, I went to a Dutch restaurant yesterday. It's my first time trying Dutch food. It's the best thing in the world. I 
dry the crepe. Oh my gosh, so good. I was just telling them about the Dutch food. Oh man, that's good, wasn't it? And I'm so glad that Dustin doesn't ask anyone if they're from, from Dutch. You mean you're so glad that my <laughs> ignorance didn't precede my yeah. thoughts? And like, Dustin, Dutch is not a country. It's, it's, it's how you call the people from Holland, Dutch. So don't ask them if they're from Dutch. <laughs> that's why I asked you first. I've, I've already called this to me. It's because I, I overheard this and say, and the waitress doesn't uh, pay attention. He say, is Amsterdam part of Dutch? Clean <laughs> <laughs> uh, this. This too. Make sure everything is clean. There you go. Now, after that, you just slap a, a circle, a yellow circle, right in the middle. Don't be distracted by its uh, blandness. Right now, it looks like bland. There's no flavors. Don't be distracted by it. Remember, it's going to have outline, it's going to have. Uh, eyes and mouth, and the mouth gonna be hot pink. So you're saying right now it's tasteless. It's tasteless. No flavor. Okay. Land. <clears throat> Cheers. Okay. So we went out to eat, and we ended up at a paint store, painting pictures. We go eat at a restaurant called Van Gogh, and then suddenly <laughs> we go and draw in after that. <laughs> Mad it. Oh, oh, uh, by the way, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Mad it. Everything is finished. Here. Now, what happened? Oh, okay. All right, now, bright yellow, which I don't have enough yellow, I need more. Very gel yellow. And some white polish. And before you put it in the bottles, let's go ahead and cleanse it. Even though it's, I don't see yellow anywhere. You so have why? to be careful, yeah. Why change it? Why change it? <laughs> and let's see. Mix it together. Your little white pile just made me crave the eggs. I I like to mix uh, tone a lot. Help me get the exact tone that I searching for. Line a brush, fill it with yellows. Slap it right in the middles. Run the metals. This too, run the metals. You always mix so well though. Yeah. See, it's just simple, just a white in so it make it pastel and not really opaque. Using just a nice clean brush, you don't have to pick up any more gel. Now you just work in outside the S. Slowly take your time. You already have so much gel in the middle, so now this should be very easy to slowly kind of edge around this like this. See that? Nice and perfect. 
Yeah, see, you already have so much gel in. So go ahead and outline it nicely. Take some gel in here and use it like an easel. Slowly work it out toward the edge. Nice and slow. Work it out, work it out. Right here too, work it out toward the edge. There you go. Okay, now here. Sixty second Corallo para sesenta segundos. Now, <laughs> before I do anything else, because I have the detail, outline, and all that. So before I do anything else, I gonna draw the mouth because the mouth is hot pink. So let's stuck the mouth in and the eye too. All right, so the eyes, little dot right here, one, two. More than welcome to make it as big as you want, just a little for me right here. Now, hot pink mouth, one curve. Curving down, by the way. Now, this curving up like this. Something down here. Hot pink. One big slap in the middle and drag it up. One big slap in the middle. Yeah. Nice clean brush. You don't need to pick up any more paint. It's already so much paint in the middle. Go up like this. Look creepy. Creepy? Yeah, let's make it a little like. Yeah. That smile looks like a Joker smile. Okay, this is much better. The Joker smile? Yeah. Okay, now, hear this. Before we do anything else, we need to add some white dot for the eyes, and then we're gonna mat it, and then we're gonna outline it. Take it out. Two dot. I'm not gonna use a brush for that. I'm gonna use a engraver. Make sure it's free of glue. Sometimes I use it for glue. Okay, now. <laughs> Two dot for me. You can do one dot if you want. Here. Just a little bit. Go back in. This is tiny. Just one dot on this one. Here. And then match. And then outline. La, la, la. Meanwhile, these two now, I will distribute pastel color over these two nails. So, I'm feeling, uh, because I'm gonna do pink and blue, right? I'm not gonna blue blue right here because that's too close together and then that's gonna be pink right here. So I'm gonna do pink and then blue here. Mm, I don't have enough blue. Blue here. Yeah. Alright, 
Yeah. Oh, I'm wearing the same shirt. That's Lola. Lola, have a blue shirt too. But is it shiny? It's not a sexy Lola. This is the sporty Lola. Sporty Lola. Yeah. My first time doing Lola. I don't know what it is. So I was uneducated on Lola. Next year could be different. Could be Ranchi next year. Ranchi? Yeah. Who knows? Ranchi Lola. Okay, now. Uh, I want my tip to be like right here. Half and half. And I am going to paint this with a flat brush. Please. Pastel blue. Good morning, Vanels. Hello, hello. And let's just use an ombre brush to remove a little bit of gels on the tip right here and on the side too. Good, here. Make sure the sides stay nice and sharp. Go ahead and put matte on for this one. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And all the way down, all the way down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggles, all the way down. This side too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggles, and down. Good. A few more strokes, make sure that it's nice and thin because it's not the last coat. It's just a coat that I put on so I can go ahead and outline. Matte is always very easy to uh, outline on rather than shine. There's going to be some shadow right here for the blue. Let's go ahead and put pink right in here. In the index fingers, I have been pastel pink. Still using very gels. I should use art gel for this because art gel, when you cover this, is nicer. Uh, but fairy gel will do the same thing. It, will, it also uh, deliver the job. Just art gel can be more easier. Smoothers. Sometimes um, certain product you can achieve the look on both product, but one will be easier for you to work with than the others, etc. Pink, make sure it's equal to the other side, and go ahead and paint it with a flat brush. I don't have enough pink. Hopefully, it's going to cover all of this. We have a little pink left. Okay, that's good. That's enough. That's the last of it. You got everybody saying wiggle wiggle in there. Yes. Do you have a Kill this. Okay. I didn't make poor daddy see can cake uh cook real as flower. Again, my poor daddy see. Um uh, let me see the uh the let's uh, uh, um it's uh it's better. And uh, the flower, um, the, the flower, uh, the seeds, Takashi Murakami is El Flora. Takashi Murakami. Okay, go in here. Now, taking this neon pink.
been such a long time since I draw cartoon. I think that's the way it's go. Yeah. Been like a while. It has. Yeah, I think that's a that's a way. Actually. Yeah. And Crafty now said. Let mm. me see some cartoon. Uh, I'm going to do some cartoon now. I forgot how to construct it. <laughs> uh, cartoon nails. Okay, I need, I need some pink, 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 pink highlight. Check out that. Thank you. Gracia, inspiration, you know what current lamp do you use? Uh, I use lamp from Pro Shakers, proshaker.com. Okay. Actually, um, Let's try this. Stained glass gels, number six. Actually, number four. Stained glass gel number four. Six is fuchsia. Four is hot pink. And ombre, I love it. Give it a little ombre. Just letters. Yeah. Same thing with the blue. So this is our channel number, uh, this is stained glass channel number four. And I know I'm using the blue number seven. How's the duck going? Uh, we, we don't have the duck for, for a long time, for like uh, two years. We used to have ducks. Um, I think you just put in Pro Shaker and it should take you to the website. Yeah. No. Oh, just ping in here. I should wipe it clean. You mentioned to them we have duck dogs, so it was a little challenging. <laughs> um, I'll land this. Let's give these now a rest for now. All right. Black art gels. And I will need the handy dandy seven millimeters for now. Unless it's difficult and I I turn into a 10 millimeter, but I think these short up line are good with seven. Let me see. Definitely need the 10 millimeters for the um, for the big circle though. So with the 10 millimeter, I'm going in for the big circle. On this side, I wasn't paying attention, so my pressure is a little heavier, and you can tell that it's heavier than this. Thank you, Greg Nails. There you go. Seven millimeter going in.
straight out and then start to curve. Same thing straight out, then start to curve. Straight out. Okay, so that looks difficult. It is. But if you notice, he always starts at the circle and then goes straight out. Yeah. Straight out. That way you're pulling instead of pushing in and making it just easier. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to practice. You have to get to a point where nothing is difficult. To a point where mm, this might be a little time consuming or so and so, but not difficult then you'll be ready for the next step, which is designing. Meanwhile, we can. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention with this. Okay. This line is a little funny. You keep practicing and paying attention to the shortcuts Tino provides, and you will do nail art just as good. The difficult thing about this is the line have to be cohesive. Believe it or not, but this um this not basic line work when you <coughs> outline this like this because um, for Lola. The line work is more basic because Lola, um, these line are like these are longer than this. They are long, so nothing equal to what. Ah, so, so, so. But this everything is equal to everything. So let's make it more difficult because everything is equal to everything. So goal. you have one stand out. It will definitely stand out. That's what make it difficult. You can cheat with a sticker, but I suggest you pass through this stage of your life that uh, these lines are difficult. You have to pass through it. You don't want to be stuck there. Especially if you want to learn portrait and all that, all of this have to be easier for you. For you to step into more difficult room of nail art. See that? Full control. Hear this? All right, now let's see. Lines, lines, right here and right here. It's more easier. Now, when you do the line from both sides, most people they turn to the side and they be like, "Ooh, look at this cute little line right here! Oh, so perfect! Look at that!" And then they turn over, the line disappear. So, uh, what I suggest you is to keep the nail just like this and go in for the line and make sure you can see the line. See that? And then you can just feel whatever it is down here. It don't have to be cohesive, neither. So keep the nail flat like that, looking straight at it, and drawing your line so you can make sure that you can see the line. Because sometimes people have deep C curve, then um, you cannot see the line because it's all the way on the side. See that? See, this one is way bigger than this bottom right here. Feel the end. See, it's not cohesive, but when you look straight at the nail, it looks beautiful. One of the tricks. Now, this line, same way. Okay. Uh, pigment base is out of stock. It yes. should be here in about seven to ten days. Yep. We hope. Yep. It's almost arrived in the U.S. Uh, shipping dock. And when it's arrived here, it's in our control. But when it's the U.S.C., it's not in our controls. Sure. When when it's arrived in the U.S. shipping dock, that'll be quick. It'll be like three days when they would arrive. It have to arrive in the United States first. <laughs> right here. 
going down, all the way down. Scott, there you go. Feel everything in this side, same thing. Straight at it, don't flip it over, straight at it. Look at it and make sure you see the line. Okay, okay. you can go over it again the line is visible to you when you look straight at it or else that'll be pointless good now flip over and fill everything up now line over the tips just like this And in the bottom too, this one right here. Here. Continue outlining this. Uh, for this small circle, I can feel safe with the seven millimeters. We'll find out, let's see. Ish. It's easier ish. Ish. Hmm. So the stroke down here is a little heavier than the top. Which is fine. Which is fine, but don't forget to critique yourself. Straight in, curve, going straight in. Same thing on here. I think you have us all holding our breath. Oh. That is this one hair right here. It's getting in my way. Are you planning on releasing any different brushes than you currently offer? Um, no, not yet. You know, Tino. Uh, you have any idea? Tino really. Uh, unless I, he has a great purpose for something, right. he doesn't see a use for it. Um, the next uh brush item, but it's not a brush. It's a silk contour just for chroming and do working with stickers and all that. So it's not, not a brush, it's a tool. That's what I'm gonna have. Very common. Everybody have that. Wasn't pay attention on this flower at much at the top flower, so stroke is a little heavier due to pressure. Says she loves the pointy brush, but a smaller version would be amazing. Okay, I will keep that in mind definitely. Okay, uh, I agree. I agree. Uh, pointy brush, I use for pedal stroke. Um, but yes, a smaller one. Yeah, that, that's perfect actually. Not a thin at the liner for to fill in. Yeah, I pass it though. Thank you for telling me that. You guys have any suggestion on product? Uh, welcome to uh, tell me. I'm open minded for everything. But okay, now he's never just going to get it because it's available. Right. It's, he always has to be able to provide you with a platform to design from. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little slow. I'm not in a rush at all. What is your um? Longest liner, 20 millimeter is perfect for me. That's 25 millimeter, but 
Um, it's too long for me. Okay, now it's time to get some pink right here. And so I'm gonna have some uh, white gonna be on this side. So um, what happened about right? Uh, can you show the 20 millimeter? Yes. Right here. Oh, that's actually see good again. Idea. When said, what about a vibrating brush for stripping? <laughs> <laughs> this is a 20 millimeter. Cycling. Um, the pencils he uses is just a graphite. Graphite mm -hmm. yeah. The trick is to buff it. If you buff the nail, you can draw it with any pencil you wish. If you not buff the nail, then you can you can draw on it. Doesn't matter. There's no magical pencil. Oh, I was getting ready to tell him you were gonna have a magical pencil. <laughs> it was blessed by oh gosh. By a shaman. I guess there's no magical. It's blessed pencil. by a shaman. Is today's theme pop art or cartoon? Um. Today is still Easter. It's still Easter, but uh, using a uh, character at a little um, um, um. People need character once in a while for them to catch up on sharing skill, learning, all that color, shadows. Blue, any blue? I think we all could use a little character. Blue right here. White, and uh, Archer, white Archer. <coughs> oh, they said everything you do is magical. Thank you. Yeah, people see me painting with pencil and they're like, oh my God, what kind of pencil is that? What kind of pencil? It's not, it doesn't matter what kind of pencil. You can, uh, I suggest you use a uh, mechanical pencil. It's much easier. But remember, don't forget to buff that nails. If you don't buff that nail, you will not able to draw. Uh, I need to redo this. Actually, no. Yes, I do. Odd question. What color will they sit on? Oh, I wasn't judging I didn't, your question. Oh my god, I didn't uh, I didn't care this. Kill this. <laughs> so what color would work great with a dark charcoal? Uh what do you mean what color would work great with a dark charcoal? I I don't know. A dark charcoal work great? He 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 came with, with they came with uh Odd question, so oh. we knew it was going to be. Uh, yeah, dark chocolate will be fine. Two B pencil, it looks too light. The pencil I use is ebony, ebony graphite, so it's really dark. Oh, dark coral. Mm, dark coral? I think, I think that, that changes everything, doesn't it? What color will work great with a dark coral? You still talking about the pencil? You know, we're just going to skip that one. It one's got our brains boggled. And... Yeah, I don't understand the question. For pencil, just use the darkest. For color, you just use any oh, you color. Do a marble. Oh, do a marble. Um, a coral, mm, I will, so I will choose a contract shape, mm, like a pastel coral with a hot coral. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Um, yellow will be fun too, but it's too close to coral. It gotta have something in the middle. Um, uh, hot pink could be good. Purple, yeah. purple. Yeah. Um, definitely have to have white. Coral have to have white. That is a perfect contrast. Right? Coral, white, pastel coral that could work. If you're looking for a cohesive team of marble, mm, or if you want more colorful, you can add purple and pink in there. Pure white, a pure white with a coral. Yeah, actually, dark charcoal would go good with the coral. Yes, yes, contrast. Yes, it would go good with a coral too. That was our subliminal brain working. Okay, let's give it another go. <laughs> so don't be too comfortable. Make sure you take it seriously with your line. Lift slowly. There is one load dot right here. There you go. Slit. Slit. When I say lip, you just use the tip of the brush, nothing else. And, oh, that's cute. You like this, Dustin? I love it. I think that's cute. Mm -hmm. Very crisp, clean. Ooh, little cartoon action. Ooh, I feel so trendy. Okay. Hello, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, Sam, that is actually uh, my inability to read proper English. <laughs> no, I don't need these two lines right here. There you go. Tino has been doing nails for 14 years. 14 years. Yes. You know. And remember, I'm always 21. Hear this. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen Sassafras, but... Sassafras? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen Sassafras. I wonder what's going on. I'll tell you who I, I'm a little concerned about, and that's uh, Marlene. That's my girl. She was kind of ill. Oh, man. I know, right? I hope she's okay. Well, I do, too. Oh, my God. And she you know... Down tech, but I love her. What about doing cartoon? What about doing 80 cartoon character? Hong Kong Fui. I don't know Hong Kong Fui. Hong Kong Fui? I will either. keep it in mind. Yeah, I keep it in mind. I, I will uh, research it. Cause Lola, like somebody mentioned Lola. I'm like, what is Lola? I don't know it's Lola. So I Google it and I'm like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, I, I, will, uh, I will Google Kung Fu. Uh, Kung Fu what? Fui? Kung Fu Fui. Ah, uh, Matt, Matt. <laughs> oh my god, you make me want some fur. Man, I have so much work to do today. I know, and that's why we should go to Bowie and eat quickly and come right back. I have so much today to, to do. I know. But what if I helped you? <laughs> and what I mean is, what if I didn't talk to you for a whole hour? Mm -hmm. Matter. It's bedazzle work. It requires intense focus. So I tune out everything around me. Oh man, I'm so nervous for Chicago show you guys. My back is still messed up. It's gonna do you good to stand up that long. Yeah. yeah. So in in the show, if you guys see me, um, because I am crazy at the show. I'm talk a lot, I'm obnoxious. So if you see me a little like quiet, know that I'm in pain. By the way, um, when you're at the booth, remember to 
uh, don't uh, don't stand near the doorway so let people come in so they can buy crystal um but we have a big boot um this time which is great 30 by 10 usually it require i think 25000 or 30000 for a 30 by 10 boot we we lesson we we got it for uh for a good price here uh can you come out with a tracing stencil for characters yes oh for cats yeah <sighs> yes but uh it's not going to be soon i know what you're talking about like like my idea is every I'm, i still want to be with a perfect land work but my idea is it would be great to have like pencil that are like circle square curve line so it's quick 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 okay. but um yeah give us that give it time yeah um when is the uh show uh the show is april 15 april 16 and april 17 so 15 16 17 it's in three weeks I can't wait to meet you guys. Mm -hmm. It has been uh, almost a year since I do my last show. Isn't it? No, it's July, last July. My last show is last July in Miami. Yeah. Here's this. Yeah, because I think we got the dogs in August. Yes. Oh, you guys. Look at this. So cute. Oh. So cartoony. You can always get trace in paper. Mm. Trace your cat on one side. Oh, she meant like a whole cat. But like a whole cat. A tensile for a whole cat. I don't see that happening at all. Mm. I will give you a reason why. Number one. You have to have every single character in Disney. That's number one, right? Right, that's a good point. We're still doable. It's still doable. But number two is the sizing. That's one of the reasons why I hate average. Because if they have a Lola, they don't know what size of nail I'm using. The Lola could be so tiny that it'd be like, it'd be like, instead of this, the head could be like right, right here and then the little body. And then they just snatch it right in the middle of the nail. It's so tacky. That's the reason why yeah, I don't like ever. The size, the size, and it's what matters. Uh, your design can look super cheap. If it looks like one character, tiny character, right in the middle of the nail, it looks like airbrush or stickers. Sticker. It will look very cheap. And that is one reason why. Because there's people that post character, but the one that using the printing machine and the sticker got like. 50 like versus a thousand and thousand of like and they don't know why so like oh my god it's perfect why don't I have enough like it because it looks cheap it doesn't look custom made it doesn't look like it's made for that set it looks like they just slap a cheap sticker on and people are not stupid they can tell that's the reason why though though now set doesn't get hit and it can look exactly the same as this except for this Lola will be like it not fit the nail at all. It would be like one little Lola right here. And then the flower too. It's not big and small. Like it's like one, two, three, four, five. You know, it took... So I don't see that happening at all for me to have stand show on characters. But uh, what I want is... Um, let's say this face. This face is so difficult. But if I have a round stencil, it will help you guys out a lot. With like a round shape, basic shape. Like straight round you know that what i meant mm. like lola you might need some curve you know some curve right here anything that needs perfection i want tensile for it uh, definitely a uh, french tip tensile is coming uh because this right here i want i want you to have an easy way to do it however that doesn't mean that not practicing you still practice this just so you can get Pass a stay where you'll be like, oh, that's too difficult. Or that mm, this is too difficult. You need to get past that by practice. What you want to do? It. You're, you're powerful. Well, th there's a more thing awaiting for you. But at the end of the road, there's more thing awaiting. This is not it. I'm I'm waiting for you to get really good on your line 
so this will be no problem because if let's say you draw a dragon right you need to be able to do every single line perfectly for you to draw like a dragon or a uh, beyonce let's just say that you want to draw beyonce you cannot you cannot say oh that's too difficult this is too difficult line wise because draw a face you have to have well control of your line your proportion spacing Yes, mm -hmm. layers. You can draw Beyonce eyes, Beyonce nose, and Beyonce mouth, and you just need a little bit different. That would not be Beyonce at all. It'd be somebody else. It'd be like John River. You know, it'd be it'd be different. So for you to master the face, your spacing needs to be proper. Even though if you successfully draw the eyes and the nose and the mouth, if your spacing is not right, then that's not Beyonce. <laughs> it become like John River. Joan River, Joan River, oh, there. yeah, oh, um, yeah, it'd be a huge difference. When you say like Joan River, you mean dead? I'm, I'm just trying to think of a name, you know, but that's basically, you know, so people face, even though the eyes and nose and mouth is similar to other faces, the spacing make the face unique. The proportion and the shading, you have to get past a step where it's difficult. You need to get to a point where nothing is difficult. So some things that take more time than the others, but you have to be able to do everything. But yes, I will uh, have a bunch of stencil and spacing for you to make money quickly. Mm -hmm. Not for your embeddement. It's not a cheating. It's, it will not make you better, but it will... It, uh, when you in a salon or something, you want to do something quick, you can just use some stencil and all that. All right, you guys, this is the design for today. I hope you enjoyed the design today. Lola, my first time. Oh, wait, is Lola have whisker? Is Lola have whisker? I don't know. Let me see. I didn't draw the whisker in. I hope not. Me too. That's gonna really I don't want to draw one code of math. Thankfully, Art Gel doesn't need top code if you keep price. Lola. Lola cartoon. I hope she don't have whisker. No, she don't have whisker. Oh, thank goodness. I still got a chance to eat. Yes, she doesn't have any whisker. Oh, it's my lucky day. Mm -hmm. I would hate to draw whisker in because then I have to top code it. Um, thank you, Michelle. Michelle, say we always love your design. Mm, where is the show going to be at? So is that Chicago? Uh, Chi-Town? Yeah. Chi-Town, Chicago? Uh, John River. <laughs> I know, I just think of random names. Uh, let's see, let's see. Question, question. Soy too fan, as well as Daniel. Oh, gracias, Daniel Gail. Gracias. I uh, got it. Oh, thank you for the great tip. You're welcome. Uh, hope that be. Mm, let me see. Uh, I'm going to trace the cartoon and make it look good to uh, <laughs> trace the cartoon. <laughs> yes. That's what I would do with Chris, personally. Trace? I was a great tracer back in the day. Yeah. During school when I would forge notes for my parents. It, it's what you meant. It's like, um, what you meant by it? It's, it's talking about pencil? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, it's pencils. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, how can we get a ticket? A uh, ticket is... I think you have to have a license. Yeah, you have to have um, some sort of nail license or hair license. I heard, I heard. But um, uh, I never buy tickets, so I don't know. You can Google it and find out. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Net Jack the Nails. Um, thank you, Instagram, your nails. I love your work, baby. Thank you. Uh, Alex, now secret. Um, uh, Karamo say, like, allow me to practice on my hand art. I need a stencil, though. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. Um, so stencil is coming. Stencil is coming. And then, yeah, my, my purpose is, besides teaching, besides teaching and improving people, uh, I really do want later on to step in deep into stickers and... Um, uh, decal and, and all that uh, and stamping I do, I do have full intention in stepping into that world Could you have to know this, you have to know that you know what I mean, diverse be diverse um, let your work go to shop to buy your precious uh, Alex mm, yes, license uh, professional only 
Let's just student, say, uh, student, uh, student. student. Get to go the last day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but they have to be students. Right. I, I disagree with needing a license for show. I think that everyone should go to show. But you know what? Um, I think it's for a reason because I'm just thinking now's why. But let's say uh, a random person go in and buy skin product. Right. They could be sued. You know what I mean? Yeah. The company could be sued for it. So, yeah, I understand. I understand why a license is needed. Um, totally here for the right, you know. Um, oh, that's different. Villain than Cody, totally inspiration, lip here, lip here, you know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sub, uh, sub now. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to check out Hong Kong Fui. Yes. Yes, I will. I will check out Hong Kong Fui. Just finish school. Awesome. I have temporary now license. I think that would do too. As long as some kind of license, I think it would do. Um, I can't wait to meet you guys in Chicago. All right. All right, everyone. That's it for me today. I will get up here. I will get back on tomorrow. And tomorrow I have two lives. One at 11 a.m. and one at 6 p.m. for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, jo Joanne. Uh, to Neshi. Thank you. All right, everyone. I'm out of here. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Yes, everyone mm, should be allowed to see the show. It could be uh, a possible nail um, career change for someone who likes to do nail. Yes, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It, it, really it doesn't matter because nail show, that's just a plus. It's a plus for people who want to come and see me because they never uh, meet me face to face before. So that's just a little extra. But now education, I'm here. Ultimately, the industry is changing, and that's an entity that's been around forever. But soon, there'll be other people creating their own pop ups and stuff like yes. that. And that'll be a thing of the past. Yeah, don't worry. Because I'm, I'm already established my online live lesson that will force everyone to do live. You know, you you see a lot of people popping up and do live now. They have to. They can no longer judge you for class. You know what I mean? So the industry is definitely changing. So you don't worry about that. You will be able to receive free education everywhere. Hmm. Mm, will you go live here from the show? I would not. I would not. Mm, when I'm at show, I'm automatic. Um, You're in the zone, and I mean, then I always forget. Yeah, that's no way. Forget to film me at the show. I don't think so. I don't think so. A show, I'm if, really. If we get a minute, I, I'll, I'll try, but I'm really, I always forget. I never went a couple of seconds without answering someone at the show. Yeah, I'm we, going. We've constantly. never had a break. Really. It's 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 hectic. Um, before team, no, nobody did free life. I know, right? But they have to now. They have to because. Mm, I'm not a small name. I'm a big name, and I come up and do live. So they they have to because if not, they'd be less than me, and they don't want to be less than me. So eventually, what we do in here, it will force everybody to do live. Everyone has a chance to learn. Yes, and I think that that is the right thing to do. It is. When it is. company they have to personally step out and do a free live for everyone. Um, any New York shows will never. Never. I, I would never do a New York show again. Mm. It was horrible for me last time I do a New York show. Um, we got about thirty thousand dollar inventory stolen from us, um, and not just us. Everyone at the show, um, multiple company gets stolen from. It was a horrible experience. Mm -hmm. Security wouldn't do anything in New York show. They say, "Oh, well, you guys are supposed to uh, watch out." for your merchandise at the show. Rude. They were a little rude. They end up mm, compensating for us uh, uh, in Vegas, but still, it was a, such a horrible experience that we would never come back to New York. Well, uh, well for sure. Well, for sure. We for love sure. New York. We love New York. We, we just didn't like the dynamics of the show. I believe it was IPS show, uh, International Beauty Show in New York. It was very poorly planned. Very poorly planned. But they didn't. It doesn't upset me. It upset me when the security go in. Right. We catch the guy. Right. That was the thing. We, we catch the, the guy. guy, and security come in. By the time the guy already left. Right. But still, you know that camera right there. The camera right there. Oh, he okay. said, "Can you guys do something?" He said, "Oh well, 
I mean, your boot, you guys should watch out for them. At that moment, I was let it. Yes. I was so angry at that yes. moment. Um, yes, definitely in Orlando premiere. All right. Uh, uh, if I send you my private jet, will you come to London? <gasps> What? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so busy. I don't know, but it's so tempting Ooh, right. to be on a private jet in London. <gasps> We can make all kind of content with it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's so tempting. <laughs> Is that champagne? A little private jet? You know, you know, it's funny because Lynn's, Lynn's made some great offers uh -huh. that we wouldn't listen to because they were financial offers. Uh, all but, right. but what she doesn't know... Experience is, is what we're looking is, for. Since she's been practicing and sending pictures, I now see her... her, her, her greatness that she, uh -huh. she can strive to. And that's what we're after, is to is, uh, make people better than they were. Oh, Nick Jeffers now say, of course, I'll be champagne. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I will come. Yeah. Oh, I never been to London before too. If somebody, they come, they can, can get us there and back. I mean, why not? Honey, we don't know that she, you're not going to end up in the basement in a cage, you know? So I, Oh, it could be a trick, yeah, and, a and trick. they can capture me, and and I will become like a like a sex slave, like a nail sex slave, like a, a nail sex slave. like a sex slave nail doer nail in the doer. basement. Yeah, and I can no longer demand what kind of food I get to eat. Just oh make God. sure if you kidnap us, you get both of us. God, that'd be horrible, and exciting at the same time. I know, right? Okay. Anyway. Bye-bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow.